Hello guys, welcome to Roadmap. Today we are going to learn about heat part 2. In previous video we learned about heat, temperature and the uh, thermometer and their different types. And if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe. So the topics to be covered are heat transfer, modes of heat transfer, conduction, convection, radiation, thermoflask. Now there are different modes of heat. You can see in the diagram that there is energy transformation that is taking place. In From chemical energy it is converted to motion, radiant to chemical, chemical to motion, electrical to thermal. So these are various energy transformation. So there is a transfer of heat that is taking place. We will learn what is transfer of heat. Heat is a form of energy that flows from hotter object to colder object. And in this way, the heat transfer takes place from one object to another object. Now, there are different modes of transfer of heat like conduction, convection and radi radiation. So, let's look into detail about it. Now, coming to the conduction. The heat travels through solids without the actual displacement of the particle. So, the displacement that the shifting of particle does not take place from one particle particle to the other particle it is in the same flow so the process in which heat is transferred from one particle to another in direction of lower temperature without actual movement of particles of medium is called as conduction like you can see in the diagram upper side that the direction of the heat flow is taking in the same direction and there is no displacement that is happening same you can see the diagram next that it is sunny, it is cloudy, it is rainy, it is stormy, windy, snowy, foggy, hot, cold. Why it is happening? It is happening because of the conduction that is taking place where the heat is transferred from one particle to another particle but in the same direction of lower temperature where the particles are not displaced this is the main point that you should keep in mind that the displacement of particle is not happening now there are conductions for conduction of heat so there are uh, sorry there are conditions for conduction of heat the two conditions important are that the two objects should be in contact with each other they should not be away from each other they should be in contact and the temperature of the two objects should be different. The temperature of the object should be uh, not the same. It should be always different. Now, uh, see in the diagram, it is written that, Hey you, I need help. So the other one is saying, how may I help you? The next, I am trying to bake cookies and I don't know what to use. So other one is telling that you have to use a good conductor of heat. So he's asking why? You have to use something like stainless steel because it conducts heat very well. So he's saying that, oh, okay, I get it now. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. So what is the exact point over here that you need good conductor of heat? A good conductor of heat is very essential to pass the heat. Sorry, to pass the particle. Like, what is a good conductor of heat? All solids does not allow heat to pass. So, uh, there is a, there are some solids that allow heat to pass through them. So, what is this? This is a good conductor of heat. And the examples of good conductor are, heat, are uh, copper, silver, aluminium and mercury. Now, all the most of the metals are good conductor of heat. Remember these points because these are very important. And bad conductors of heat or insulator, what it is? The materials that does not allow heat to pass through them, they are bad conductors of heat. So it is very simple that those who materials which allow heat to pass through them are good conductors and those which does not allow are bad conductors of heat or insulators. Example, wood, plastic, mud, cork, most gases and liquids are bad conductors of heat. Now, use of good and bad conductors of heat. Now, there are certain use for good and bad conductors of heat. Like for making cooking utensils, 
like brass, aluminium, copper. These are used for making cooking utensils. Why these are used? These are used because the heating will take place easily and it will take place quickly so that the food will get heated quickly. quickly sorry. So this is the reason why for making cook, uh, cooking utensils, good and bad conductors of heat are used. For building houses, especially in rural areas, grass, mud, these are used for uh, building houses. So these are the bad conductors of heat which are using to protect animals against cold. Now in cold winter especially there are hairs or fur or animals so they protect them to keep them warm when it is cold to protect human beings against cold. Now we wear woolen clothes in the previous lessons we learned about woolen clothes and how uh, we get warm from them. They protect us from uh, the cold in winter so you this is because of the bad conductors of heat for making handles of utensils for utensils are made from various metals so from these are the good and bad conductors of heat are used so these are the uses of good and bad conductors of heat now coming to what is convection liquids and gases except mercury and molten metals are poor conductors of heat so they cannot be heated by conduction so how they are heated you can see from the figure that heat enters from element and water what hot water rises first the cold water falls and then the hot water rises so what happens exactly is the heat is transferred from one place that is cold water falls to another place like hot water rises here what happens that there is actual displacement of particle of medium from one place to another place so this is called as convection what is convection exactly is the process in which heat is transferred from one place to another by actual displacement of particle of medium this is convection in solids, the particles are bound together, so they cannot float freely. There is a no, there is a need for liquid uh, particle to flow freely, which happens in liquid, and so the actual displacement takes place. While in solids, the actual displacement does not take place. So this is what is convection, where the actual displacement takes place of medium from one place to another. Now coming to the applications of convection. Convections are applications like there is central heating of building. In uh, winter, hotels and buildings are heated. So there is a central heating of building for which is convection. Ventilation in houses. Uh, because it provides light and a uh, fresh air. So a ventilations in houses comes from window and door and they are generally open. Especially in the top terraces we can see that the light which comes is more compared to the others. And so uh, the fresh air also we can breathe. Now in the figure you can see about the convection that there is a sea breeze and land breeze. What it is exactly? When the in the daytime we can see that land gets more heater compared to the uh, sea so this is nothing but sea breeze where the land is getting heated more quickly than the sea and the uh, land breeze is what it is nothing but the land uh, gets less heated compared to the sea at night time so it can quickly get heated at night time that is land breeze now what is radiation? When heat is transferred from one body to another exactly in the same manner as light, it is called as radiation. In the diagram, you can see that sun gives us light and heat to Mother Earth and the direct exposure is harmful. So there is a protective layer called as ozone layer which helps us to protect from the direct exposure of heat and, sun, uh, heat and light of sun. Now th coming to the thermal radiation, it is nothing but heat energy 
which is transferred in the process of radiation is called as thermal radiation. Now, what are the applications of the radiation? Now, we wear light colored cotton cloth in summer. Why? Because it absorbs heat. So, this is the reason why we wear light colored cotton cloth. While we wear dark colored clothes in winter. Why? Because they keep us warmer in the from the cold. So, uh, dark colored clothes are weird. Now, utensil space is back, black so that uh, it gets heated quickly and easily. And then, radiators of car and air conditioners, the it is black. Why? Because it gives us the cooling effect. So, these are the basic applications of radiations. Now, thermoplast outer covering is made up of insulating material which minimizes heat by conduction. So, this is the example of conduction. While the heat loss is due to convection, it is minimized in inner jar made of double glass or stainless steel due to convection. In outer surface, it is highly reflective and the heat loss is due to radiation. So, the heat radiations are reflected back to the jar. These are the examples of conduction, convection and radiations of the thermoflask. Now, coming to the conclusion where the radiation, the heat energy is transferred from one body to another in the same manner as light. You can see in the diagram. And in conduction, the uh, solid materials allow the energy to pass from one particle to another without the actual displacement of particles that is conduction because they cannot float freely and they are bound together. In convection, the heat energy takes place from one place to another in the, with where the actual displacement of particle takes place that you can see in the diagram that is convection. So, thank you for watching.